it was just after 8 p.m. on a recent evening as the mobile ECMO team from UC San Diego Health made its way through the hallways of Paradise Valley Hospital in National City. They're moving quickly to come to the aid of a patient with COVID-19 whose lungs are rapidly failing. My name is Cassia Yi. I am a clinical nurse specialist and the ECMO program coordinator for UC San Diego Health. So ECMO is a machine that's outside of the body and what it does is we put um, two big cannulas in the patient and one of the cannulas pulls blood out from the patient. We add oxygen to the blood and take carbon dioxide out of the blood and then we return it back to the patient. So it basically completely takes over the work of the lungs. Um, if we return it, when we return it back to the patient, if we return it into an artery, it also completely takes over the work of the patient's heart. COVID patients, we generally put them on VV ECMO, meaning that we're pulling the blood out of a vein, adding oxygen to it, taking carbon dioxide out, and then returning it back to a vein. So it just bypasses the lungs. The patients that we put it on, they're already on maximal ventilatory support. So they're already on breathing machines. The breathing machine is working as hard as it possibly can in the most advanced settings. And the patient is still either not getting enough oxygen or not expelling enough CO2 or a combination of, the bo of both of those things. Um, so by putting them on ECMO, it allows us to reduce the settings on the ventilator and then their lungs have a chance to heal from the insult that the COVID created. After the ECMO system has begun its final work, it's time for the team to transport the patient back to Jacobs Medical Center in La Jolla. Made up of specialists from Sulpizio Cardiovascular Center, the team has provided mobile ECMO service for patients at seven different hospitals throughout the region, traveling as far away as Imperial County. Ali al Saadi of Lakeside is one of a handful of patients in the region with severe lung failure caused by COVID-19 who has benefited from ECMO treatment. al Saadi was discharged home on May 4th after spending more than one month at Jacobs, including two weeks heavily sedated in the intensive care unit as the critical care team worked to prevent organ failure by using the ECMO system to keep his blood oxygenated. Even the doctors was thinking that I'm not going to make it. So that's why when I woke up, they were very happy and then screaming, they were screaming. And, and one of the doctors, they told me that you are a real superhero. And I, I didn't know what he was talking about at that time. I was not uh, aware of many of things. So that was uh, something strange to me. Many times they told me that. And when I left the ICU, they were screaming, but they, they turn on the music. They were very happy, but I mean, more than me. Yeah, and all of that, as I told you, it's, it's mixed. Sometimes you feel very happy and sometimes you feel sad because you are uh, sitting in the hospital away from your family, crying from time to time because sometimes of pain, sometimes of like uh, all things that you went through. At Jacobs Medical Center, the transport from Paradise Valley arrives just before midnight. The medical team immediately rushes the patient to a CT scanner for a comprehensive set of x-rays of the head and chest before moving him to the intensive care unit. So we have done really well. So far we've saved um, four patients' lives that for sure would have been lost if they didn't have ECMO. Internationally, the statistic on how well ECMO works in COVID-19 patients is that it, it works about half the time. So it saves about half the patients. Um, but it's important to remember that it saves half of patients that would have had 100% mortality without it. So even though 50-50 statistic doesn't sound that great, it's better than zero, which is what it would be if they didn't, didn't have ECMO. Now, I appreciate life. Uh, I love my family more than before. After that, every moment you take a breath, you feel that it's a gift from God. You feel that it's really a gift from God. 
reporting for the San Diego Union Tribune. This is Paul Sisson.